the European Space Agency has just closed its first public recruitment drive to find eight people to become the European astronauts of the future. Thousands of people from the 17 countries that make up the ESA responded to this dream of becoming an astronaut. But what are the qualities ESA is looking for? It's not enough to be a good scientist, but then be in poor health or physical shape. You have to be a good scientist and in good health and good shape. You must be able to learn things outside of the field of science and carry out complex tasks. There aren't many people lucky enough to have viewed Earth from space. Photos of the men and women who've joined this elite group since 1978 hang in the hallway of the European Astronaut Center in Germany. While astronauts are passionate about their jobs, there's no denying that it's a demanding one. You need to go to Russia, the United States, Europe, Japan, Canada. That's a lot of traveling over a two-year period, with a lot of work. I'd say that's the main drawback, with of course the impact that has on family life. From Star City near Moscow, where trainee astronauts of various nationalities learn the secrets of the Soyuz capsule, to Space City in Houston, where they learn the techniques of NASA, the work never stops. Patience is the key. Paolo Nespoli had to wait 15 years before flying to the International Space Station. You need to maintain your passion and tenacity. In training, we're made to do things that push us to the limits, both mentally and physically. We discover positive aspects of ourselves, but also others that we need to improve. But we all say that once we're in space and looking back down on Earth, all that we've been through means nothing. It's insignificant. It's so beautiful up there that we forget it all and would gladly do it all over again. Astronaut training is first and foremost the repetition of tasks to be carried out in space until they become automatic. But however thorough the training, an astronaut is never totally safe from the unexpected. We're very aware of the risks and we accept them. It's a dangerous job. Of course, both the Russians and the Americans had accidents and it'll happen again. You can't have exploration without paying a certain price. Death is sad, but it's the price you have to pay for progress. Astronauts' talents must cover scientific experiments in zero gravity or taking things into their own hands when computerized systems break down. And then there are the language skills. I've been training, I've been working also in the, for space activities uh, in, in, in English. But as you mentioned, for the uh, long duration flights, we also have to learn Russian. Learning in any language is difficult at the beginning. Another important selection criteria is psychological stability, and it plays a large part in training. There are two main points to the psychological aspect. Self-care, meaning knowing how to keep yourself fit in mind and body when you're apart from friends, family, children, earths, what you're used to. De ses proches, de sa famille, de ses enfants, de ses amis, de sa terre, de ses habitudes. Et après, il y a le travail en groupe. And then there's teamwork. That's extremely important because conflict can happen anywhere, on the job or away from it. You need to know how to resolve problems between several people. All the tests are hard. I can't say which is the most difficult. It will be tough, but we'll have the best candidates and they will be given extraordinary challenges. For the first time in the process, we've mentioned the moon. So the European astronauts will have the chance to go to the moon or prepare lunar missions or go in orbit around the moon. The ISS is a reality today. The moon is something for the not-too-distant future. And after that, maybe Mars.